name is Dan Brookshine, and I've been selling real estate here in the area since 2007. I had a conversation with somebody the other day, a home seller, that was curious about what's the difference, Dan, between a short sale and a foreclosure. And it prompted me to be uh, to film this quick video to because uh, I answered her question. And here is the difference. Both are in a situation where typically you're not able to pay your mortgage. And many times you may be upside down on the mortgage as well, meaning that let's say you owe $500,000 and the, and the property can only sell for $400,000 is that $100,000 gap. So when you go through a foreclosure, that's a tragic, devastating thing to your credit, your emotions, your everything, just bad. And so what happens in that case is the bank will, t will take the property back because that's collateral to a loan that you uh, promised to pay. And then and that loan is, is represented by a mortgage, right? So you have a mortgage and from the bank's perspective, that mortgage is an asset from yours. It's a liability. If you stop paying the bank, then it becomes a non-performing asset from the bank's perspective. And at some point they have to take the collateral back and that they do that through a foreclosure process. When they do that, it's going to devastate your credit for the next seven years. It's also gonna put it in the position, and remember that $100,000 gap? The bank still has the right to be able to come back for that $100,000 at any given time, right? So when you get back up on your feet, they're very likely gonna pursue you for that. Short sale, same scenario. You still have the asset or the liability. They still have the asset. You're not able to pay your mortgage yet. Here's the, here's the difference. You find a short sale specialist, you place your property on the market, you can manage the time and remember that $100,000 gap? Well, when you find that buyer and your short sale specialist helps to negotiate that deficiency, then that $100,000 either goes away or you're able to negotiate it to something that makes sense to you. And you're never in a situation where you're gonna to have to say, no, I'm not interested in doing that because when a buyer comes in on, that, on the sale, it's going to be contingent on that third party approval, which is the bank. Are you in a situation and you're upside down in your mortgage and you have to sell? That's a really bad place to be. And I'm sorry to hear that. I have helped more than 250 home sellers to successfully do a short sale. And I'd be happy to be able to have a conversation with you to be able to you know, give you some advice, to listen and to uh, talk to you about what your options may be. Maybe you can talk to the bank to uh, to get them to mitigate the loan so that maybe they they can extend the payments, uh, you know, at the back end of it and, and forgive you for some of the payments. Now, maybe a short sale is the right option. Foreclosure, that's probably never going to be the right option. Give me a call. My name is Dan Roshan, 703-346-2776. Email me, dan at greetingsvirginia.com. And I'd be happy to uh, answer your questions. And you can go to the short sale website, www.greetingsvirginia.com to learn more as well. Thank you.